Hello everyone, I am the plane shifter facing to the universe of fire. And now we shall face not fire as you would be expecting one, but water. Our black wagon just became water capable. Thanks to this uh, helpful lady. You have not yet been to this region of the downside, Wyrm Goof. Before she left, Big Bertrude shared the knowledge of a current that should draw you out to the sea. Let us move on. <laughs> Let us transform into us into a boat. Worm Golf. You and your companions watch the sea as your wagon rolls over the gentle waves. We have crossed into the Worm Golf. I hope that all of you are acclimating well. Worm Golf, the tempestal sea of solace lies beyond this dead steel body of water. Exiled worms from the sea dominion naturally congregate around here. Ooh. I'm not sure if uh, should like or not this information. I mean, uh, if I should be happy that there is stuff here, uh, are they dangerous? There is no acclimating to these worm infested waters. We risk everything to sail here. Wormy. Exiled worms of the sea dominion. Well, now for being reckless and single-minded, they were perfectly suited to fuel the Commonwealth's front lines. Hmm. As long as we follow the cold current, Big Bertrand indicated, we shall be safe. If the next right is in the middle of the sea, how will our adversaries meet us there? They shall find their way, as we find ours. It's all part of the scribe's designs. Now, reader, please confirm the next point on our sea journey. We seek the hook of our, the hook of ours, hook of ours. According to the stars, the next right shall soon commence here. A carcass of the tamed exploring vessel Dra Dasraban lost in the waters of the downside. Outer solace. Anything interesting over there? Can I press Y? I do not. Outer Solis fetched the waters of the coast of Flagging Hands. Bertrude's instructions are to navigate the maze of mouths in a curving road bearing northwest. Okay. Let's try to curve out. The music is so nice. Of course it is, it's super giant. Darren Card! Of course the music would be nice, that's a non-comment. <laughs> the wagon continues rolling gently across the waves, which seems to you a welcome change of pace after having come from flagging hands not very long ago. However, Jodaria all seems more concerned now than before, and pieces scissors. So in pieces scissors, 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 I can't say that. And pieces seriously, she doesn't like water. That's clear. When she notices Rocky, she stops him for some question. Greentail, how's he doing? Who Hedwin? Oh, he's pretty much the same. What, it's Hedwin that she's concerned about? Is he the seasick one? Been up all night, reaching to the waters if I had to guess. His first time out at his first time out at the sea. Retching. Retching. What does this word mean? Uh, English is my second language, by the way. I hope that it doesn't mean that he was barfing a whole night. His first. She turns to you. She turns to you. 
Reader, please check on Hedwig. When you have the opportunity, he requires our support, and he we require his wish to recover. Oh. You wish then a good afternoon as you go check upon the others in the grove. Later you find Hedwig looking out of sorts. He's seasick. <coughs> Poor guy. I, I have motion sickness often, but... Well, not too often actually, only if I move my eyes away from the road and try to read something or say search something in a bag. Oh, hello my friends. Just... The sea hasn't been good for me, I guess. It's funny how this trouble just to get back to the commonwealth of all places. Hey, tell me something. What do you miss the most about that place? Edwin wants to know what you miss about your past life. Books collection, few friends you had, perhaps the food. Mm. You have made your conscience effort to discard most of your memories of living in the Commonwealth. Hmm. Sure, it, has, it was highly illegal to just the same. You miss having had access to those volumes. Your life was almost always difficult, but several of your long-time confidence did help you to get by. Your most water is at the thought of it, at least compared to our passes for sustenance here. What should I say? What would I miss? Seriously, if my real life is the Commonwealth, probably something like my book collection, which I would actually call my video games. <laughs> I I'm not a man of many friends, if you can tell. I'm alone in the world. Ah, uh, life has a way to take friends apart. Nothing bad really happens, but we lose contact, and I'm terrible at keeping contact. Let's say my book collection then. You think that you miss your book collection most of all after having taken many pains and risks to put it together. <laughs> I figure as much. I bet they burned all of your books, didn't they? Those scum. Anyway, I I'm fine. I think. Thank you for checking up on me. Your says he wishes to be alone, there's not much to be done for him for now. It appears Hedwin is to you to conduct the next ride. May he soon get well. I'm sorry for my interruption, reader. Please again confirm the next point of your voyage. The Sea of Solace. You have not yet been to the region of the downside. According to Bertrude, the celestial and mark you seek is beyond the strait. Let us try going there. After all, there is nothing much to do. And we will be glad that this journey is over. And suddenly, this place became a lot better. Much prettier. By the scribes, the sea. I didn't know it was so beautiful. Having escaped the waters of the Weir and Gulf, you, can, you now can see what must be the hook of ours far on the horizon. Not everyone has taken well to the sea voyager, however. Rahum <laughs> Tizo? Oh no. He's always wondering if Hedwin is feeling better. Oh, okay, you're worried about Hedwin, okay. He requires first rest, Tizo. All we can do is to wish him a swift recovery. It's just sea sickness, it will go in <coughs> Reader, from this point, our voyager must diverge from Bertrand's instructions. Please consult with your companions about which course to take. Under King Pass and Fathomless Trench. Fathomless Trench, the south current towards the hook of our things. 
things with fish and other sea life. It is also want some fish for something taste here. Ooh, the north current towards their hook of ours runs as quickly as under King Ours himself. Rai believes that the eight scribes shall bless you here. I'll take you on that, Rai. I have a transformer wagon. This is so cute. You find Rai gazing down into the depths. The water is so very beautiful and yet it's very dangerous. They always said it's very dangerous if you fall in or drink enough of it. But the scribes, they have protect us, protected us and they are watching. I just know. Why would they be protecting us? I know there's a history with the Nightwings, but... Claire, you might be onto something. Even out here in the waters of the Under King Ars, Ars the urge on us, I feel it, I just know. Under King Ars, 70 of the 8 scribes of the Book of Rites, known as the Persevering or the Sea Sojourney, the legendary leader of the Worms Under Sea Crusades, sought to reach the edge of the abyss. There is no denying that the North Current sends you quickly on your way. Perhaps it's the tough of reaching land again, but you can sense a spring in everybody's step. Your companions gain plus two quickness for the next ride, that's nice. Journey onwards. That's a hand on a weapon? At last, you arrive at the Hook of Ours. After journeying across the sea, it seems the next right is to commence here soon, too. There is no sign of your next adversaries yet. Page reveal down the, right, the river. Let's read! After all, that's what I do. Oh, bells, bells. Nautical bell among the black wagons here fighting equipment. Hedwin uses it to signal when food's ready. <laughs> Ding! What is this? What is this? There's nothing? So, so many... So many fish. What is this? More books? Um, She's lost in thought. Sandra is lost in thought. Okay. Jody's throw rug. She's nearby, of course. Uh, tossing and turning. Hmm. He's making sure the coast is clear. Rise deep in top. Hmm, very interesting. And he is always cooing somewhere. What's here? Silver Kudjel head. A limbless, cold-blooded creature rescued from the sea. It's fully grown and has led a rich life. A keepsake from Worm of Co Okay. I shall take a better look and say talk to Jutariel. Reader, a moment of your time. Sure thing. You ask what's on your head mind. Tom Diamond. Hedwin. He's beginning to recover from his illness. However, its soothing onset serves as a reminder, I believe. I have no Hedwin since he was a child, even now. I hesitate to say that he is grown. Nevertheless, there are such things that even I would never say to him directly. For instance, I struggle with his confidence at times. Whether he led us toward freedom or our doom, I am ambivalent. Speak not a word of this to him. Of course, in case that is unclear, I shall tell him in my own way if and when the time requires. Alright, Jodario, I will keep my lips sealed. But know that, I also don't know if I'm leading you through to freedom or doom. I'm doing what I believe to be the right path. In any case, when the times remind me of his mortal weaknesses, I end up having to consider what should happen would we become separated permanently. She trails off a while. She really likes him. Oh, 
What I mean to say is, to say is, you should know that I am fully pledged now to this quest of ours. Whether Headwinds is the one to lead us to its on to its end or not. I have my reasons. One of them is him. I expect the same holds true for you. That's how I wish to say. Take care, leader. She nods and brushes past you towards the door. So this is the thing. Hi, guy. <laughs> no more cobwebs. Did they learn anything about her? Uh, no. No. Everything is still wrong, no. Want to know more about these people I'm traveling with? They are an interesting bunch. And yes, Jodario, I still not fear you. You are a loyal one. I can't fear you at all. Down the river, let's inspect. In the words of Gogol Atenian, the Master General, the Emperor Solian Moore knew now of this, of course. His expedition yielded not the treasure he desired, but brought him closer to his country than he had ever been before. As he traveled down the river of Sclorian in pursuit of greed, he found instead an inkling of shame. He saw the sunken faces of his people, heard their words for him. In time he could not ignore it, and it proved more than he could bear. The river finally claimed him, his belongings, and his retinue. Once the people heard, I understand they cried with joy. Perhaps we ought to have perished, but the mercy shown to him, I think, is what transformed him. Ooh. Interesting. Books. Nowhere to be found. Ooh. Let's play something. Down river. Hmm, uh, the attic only could fit there. Oh, you also like palliatives. Oh, I can see the fish every so often. Knock on wood! What do you have? Oh, hey, you guys funny running to out here uh, right in the middle of the drink, you know what I mean? Not a lot of customers today, so have a look, I'll give you a good deal. How the heck do you keep finding us? You have some explaining to do. Oh, what is this? Turn it not when an auto casting rises when auto casting rises the beard is maximum range. Interesting. Grant is the barrier plus two peasants. Hmm. While cutting the hardware bill moves faster. Core Fang when plunging into the adversary's spire. Okay. At the start of the rise, the battle spires automatically gain plus seven. Hmm. Plus two presents. I have the money. Let's see. Indeed, she has a gigantic aura. Quickness, okay. And money. Yes, that's the way we do it. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Good luck on that thing you're doing. You're going to tonight. Let's hope the other triumvirate actually appears. Let's commence the right. Having landed in at the hook of ours, you and your fellow exiles now anticipate the hour that the rites are to commence again. What do you think, Tizo? Don't it look just like Mr. Hedwin? What? Kuhu! Tizo is worried that Hedwin is still feeling unwell. 
What? I think... What is that? A serpentine creature emerges from the water, followed by several others of its kind. You recognize it as a worm of the sea dominion. What they are doing here? You see playing by the ritual raiment. The nearest one somehow loss, lessens its mask. Yes, somehow, I would say. Good sirs and good ladies! I like this guy already. <laughs> He's a knight. He's a noble. You know, every time I learn something new about Commonwealth and her, his, its foes and friends, I like the Commonwealth less. So it's you that hit the summons to glorious competitions against this knight and his brigade. Well then, let's do battle now without delay. More than our freedoms at stake here, but our very honor. And this knight fully intends to reclaim his. Alright. Oh, and lest this knight forget. He's called Sir Gilman. He salutes you all on behalf of the Pirate Hearts. Until the contest. Sir Gilman, he's an unsproud knight of the Sea Dominion, on a self-made quest to regain his honor. Pirate Hearts, a triumvirate of your knights who perceive the rights as great battles to be won. They are, they are, um, noble sir. And you know I will not make it easier for you. Easier for you. I will make it, it a battle to you remember. Either you win or lose. I hope you do the same for me. The splashes out of view, just has just star uh, stars above begin to shimmer with strange light. The right shall commence. The glory attribute affects how much damage the uh, exiles can inflict to the adversary's pie. <laughs> Sorry. Relentless, aren't we, reader? We are. The vastness of the sea was not enough to thwart your coming here unto the hulk of Ores. Ores. It would be wise okay. not to underestimate your adversaries here, despite their pitiable look. I am, of course, referring to the Pyre Hearts. These rites are but another war to them, and that makes you their mortal enemy. Expect your battle to be glorious. Me too. Uh, interesting layout. Your fellow exiles are gathering on the rotten deck of the Hook of Oars as your adversaries clamber into view. Raki pulls up to them. Say, what are you even doing down here? Can't you just swing back to the Commonwealth or the Sea Dominion or wherever it is you're from? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> an excellent point. It seems then that. These adversaries in the rights are clever. Wouldn't you say so, Saya? <laughs> Did you just get rid of them, alright, Gilman? Gilman, as your commanding officer, this knight Harry Bike commands it. Hark! This knight wishes to introduce his noble commander. No warming knight in history has withstood as many frontline battles. Doff your helm, sire. As it's our custom, may our adversaries tremble at the sight of you. Sir Humans attends to his commander ma despite his protest. Wait, wait, ha! Ah, give this knight his mask! What is the problem with him? This night hereby presents you the great Sir Deluge, a noble visage, is it not? Sir Deluge, he is a petty weird knight of the Sea Dominion, who somehow survived countless battles. Sir Deluge trembles in its squirms. Uh, so yes, you can swim, or no. <laughs> Ha, of course we knights can twin. All knights of the sea dominion can. But we are exiles on this land, the same as he. We can twin, that's true. But this summarily, 
impossible to swing back up the river down which we were flushed to the to end up here. Nay, there is but one way to return. Silence, Gilman. N -n Nobody cares. B -b back to your post. Sir Chaiman hesitates, but he does as told. As he is told. That a test knight knows who you are, Nightwings, and he's not afraid of you. He somehow climbs back into his mask and coils up to his full height. No, 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 Engard! The exiles of the Worm Trium very take their positions at your fox on your on the Book of Frights. They're small. Reader, Hedwin's illness means he cannot help us here. He shall be counting on us. On us. Sure. We're not being now not we being shall get started. You're in. You're in as well. Tizo. Let's do this. Ray. Oh wow, I've heard so many times of the weird knights. I thought they would be more impressive though. Gilman, this is a status report. What's the enemy position? They now stand ready right to confront us, sir. Sire, a very brave triumvirate facing to this night's eye. B -b brave? Air sucking monsters? One and all? Pyro head? Hurts, be ready! Their auras are not very now begin. impressive. Quite the close call there, no? Sure. Oh, they leave a. That is cool. Wings are the first to strike. Nope. Oh. Damn it. I mess it up. Nope. Very dangerously close. They know what they're doing. So am I. Another banishment. No, 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 no. Oh. Got it, got it, got it. I, I threw, but I was banished. Oh, no. No 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 All of the pyre heart gone Oh they're come to me Oh No 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 Throw it in Yes negligible effort Yep No, 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 Go, 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 go. Let's eat. And I still have everybody. Gentlemen, you're from Mrs. Love. Fight and stole your miserable life is on the line. Your words do on me, sire. Does not give us every right to his very, very best. So perhaps we don't have much to learn from such a brave triumvirate as the one who now faces. Uh, what side are you on? Get there and vanquish them at all. 
Our adversary is undivided. Let's just take advantage of the opening. Yes! Position yourself. In your adversary's ranks. It is little wonder these fool worm knights are no longer fit to serve the Commonwealth. Mm -hmm. That was way too easy. No way. That, that, I, I keep pressing the wrong button. I just want to change. Yes. No, 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 no. Protect, protect. Oh yes, and I and I'm doing that hourly throws, hourly throws. A stroke of luck is all. That that not good, not good. I'm doing badly, very badly. A drop, a drop. I say I'm doing very badly, but seriously, these guys are worse than me, very worse. <laughs> yeah! From downtown! Three points! How very fortunate. They just cannot compete with Jodario. Giving her a boost on her. Okay. I thought they had you there. Okay, 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 okay. It's. It's A. No, 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 no. Throw it in. Mark against that flame. But I still have everybody. Hey, I did it right. <laughs> they cannot get through Jodario. They just can't. As long as I keep her well posted. There it goes. Tizo flung the orb into the flame. Yeah, these guys are so easy. Wow. Diesel, Jodario for defense. Merely a glancing blow. I should have dived. Next, I should dive. No, 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 no. Definitely thwarted the drive. Oh! Oh no. Okay. Can I get it back? I can. This flight ability is so freaking OP. Just dive in! Yes! Done. And that's done! That was easy. The you know who prevail. It was a glorious performance, I must say. Of course it was. The ceremony is complete. This was easy. Hmm. I expected more from the weird knights of the Sea Dominion. Me too, Jodario, me too. Skreya! Tizo is very pleased to have prevailed against the weird knights of the Pyra Hearts. The sea was making me a little queasy, honestly, but we still won, we won! This knight commands you, Knob Nightwings! Glorious fought, indeed! And this knight shall wistfully remember this defeat until the end of his days. This is silence, Gilman. This is all your fight. And now, covering with our enemies. <laughs> How dare you? This deluge guy deserves to be here. Seriously. The, the other guy do, do not. Gilman, Gilman, you're nice. I like you. You, you should not be stuck with this, this deluge dude here. This knight was but a tempting honorary compliment, Saya. It's not in accordance with the rights to praise one's adversary on worth outcoming. What? Did this knight will show you worth your miserable little minnow? You are a failure, gentlemen. Get now from this knight's sight. What stirs now in the hearts of all these exiles? Inspiration. The moon touched girl has greater understanding than it seems. Yeah, the ex scribes, they so inspire me now. 
I feel that I have grown somehow closer to them, maybe. So what is this? Um, jump, jumps and power jumps farther than usual. When sprinting, rise lows nearby adversaries. Interesting. And what is this? Okay, and what is this? Rise banish while jumping. She shall instantly return. Okay. Uh, let's power jump farther. Tizo conducted, prevailed. Nice. Until the stars align. Till then, Mr. Voice. This is a long episode. I might split it up in two. Maybe. After prevailing over the pirate hearts with great prowess, you at least return to the wagon with your companions. And I shall return to my ward as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. I am the Plane Shifter and I'm phasing out.